Hi everybody, I'm Miguel Sanchez, and welcome to the nearly end of LEGO History Season 3. <sighs> we're on episode 297 of the series, and uh, there are only four episodes left this, series, this season. Then we come back in May for Season 4. So thank you all for coming. That's right, we're almost at the end of the season, my friends. We're getting close. But still, you can feel it. Anyways, um, on to today's video, and today we are taking a look at another major motion picture studio that has become... Iconic and so quite legendary. <sighs> they have produced so many films in the past. Uh, they have, they've been around for over 100 years. And and they also produced and distributed one of my favorite movies of all time. Boshi Monsters the Movie. Which I already have on DVD. However, it's in another region. It's in the UK. So I can't watch it. But I can watch it on YouTube. So yeah, now you know. So that's right. For episode 297, we're taking a look at the company. Uh, at the studio. That's all has a one year experience. And of course... They are the producer and distributor of Boshi Monsters the movie. That's why we're gonna take a look at Universal Pictures. <sighs> so yes, l let's get started. As you can see, they also they also produced and distributed the Barbie movies. So that's something. And uh, and they have uh, and they have great films such as Jurassic Park, The Fast and the Furious, E. T. Back to the Future, Pitch Perfect, and so much more. So let's see how well you know. I got the Boshis with me. <laughs> oh, hey, and we got new episodes of Boshi Sleep Operations and Boshi Monsters Barbie later on today. So keep your eyes peeled. Right now, let's get started, right? Then here we go. First things first, images are taken from Wikipedia. Critical to everyone to not own any images as supposed to be shown. So yes, now you know. <sighs> images taken from Wikipedia. Critical to everyone. You know it. I got it. We are just about ready to get the show started. <sighs> Guy, good. Now let's get started. Here at the show by for those of you who don't know what Universal Pictures is. Universal Pictures, legally Universal City Studios LLC, also known as Universal Studios, and formerly named Universal Film Manufacturing Company and Universal International Pictures Incorporated, it's an American film production and distribution company owned by Comcast through NPC Universal Film and through the NPC Film Film and, and, and Entertainment Division of NPC Universal. Founded in 1912 by Carl Lamel, uh, well, uh, by Carl Lamel, Mark Latintefas, Charles Obama, uh, Adam Kessel, Pat Powers, Will Swanson. Dave Horse, uh, Dave Horsley, Robert H. Uh, Cochrane, and Je uh, Jules Brontour. It is the oldest surviving film studio in the United States. The world's fifth oldest. <laughs> After Gamont, Pathé, Titanus, and Nordisk Film. <sighs> and and I'll talk about all these in, in future episodes of the series, except for Gamont, which I already discussed here on the series. It was on episode 276, so get that to watch. As for Pat Lee, Titanus, Nordis, and Northis Film, I'll talk about all of them in future episodes of the series. They will be on season 4 of this series, so so stay tuned. Um, and also, the oldest member of the Hollywood's Big Five Studios in terms of the overall film market. Its studios are located in Universal City, California. Its corporate offices are located in New York City. Are, are located in New York City. Mm. Mm. The studios are in uh, the, so the studios are in uh, Universal City. The ha the corp the offices are in New York City. I know. In two thousand in, in nineteen sixty two, the studio was acquired by MCA, which was relaunched as the NBC Universal in two thousand four. Universal is a member of the Motion Picture Association or MPA and was one of the little three majors during Hollywood's golden age. So now you know. That's pretty much it. We take a look at some Universal Pictures. Movie studio names Universal Pictures interviews film found on April 39, nineteen twelve. Owners NBC Universal Film Entertainment, insurance is owned by NBC Universal. Ultimately owned by, owned by Comcast. Headquarters are in ten Universal City Plaza, Universal City, California, United States. They do not have a slogan, however, and their website is www.universalpictures.com. I'll put a link down below in the video description where you can check out the films they're playing right now. But for now, let's get started. I present you the local history of Universal Pictures, nineteen twelve to nineteen fourteen. The, the studio was founded as Universal Film Manufacturing Company. So we have, so we have a. Uh, White, uh, white sphere that looks like an Earth on a black outline, and surrounding it, there's a uh, white and blue, uh, black and white ring, and on the sphere, there are all the words Universal Films in black text. On at the bottom, there are all the words Trade Market Black Text. Everything else is on a white background. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, here's an alternative version and another alternative version that says Demand Universal Films at, at your theater. Comedy, giant, drama, science. The world's best supplied by the Canadian Film Company Limited. So yeah, now, now, now you know. 1914 to 1919, we have a white shape on a black outline. Inside, there are, there are words moving in pictures in black text. In between, there's were universal in black text. And, every, and again, everything is on a white background. So that, now you know. 1919 to 1923, we have a... Uh, we have, we have a black sphere that looks like we have a black circle on the Earth. Out of the world, universal pictures in transparent text surrounding the sphere. There's a uh, transparent negative space. 
Spear on a uh, black outline, and it's not, and on it, there are the words, the transatlantic film, co, and LTD, in, all in black text. So, that's pretty much it for this logo here. 1923 to 1929, they had changed the name to Universal Pictures. So, we have, uh, so we have Earth, and so, and on it, there are the words, Universal Pictures, in white text, on a black outline. Coming out of you, there are a bunch of lines. So, yeah, now you know. Here's an alternative version, and yet another alternative version. So yeah, that's pretty much it. 1929, 1936. We have a black circle. Uh, we have a white circle on a black outline. Inside that, are works universal and pictures in black text. So, and between them, and on the side there, uh, there are two hyphens. One on the white, one on the one right, and in the middle of the circle there's Earth. And everything's on the white background. So that's pretty much it. 1936, 1947. We have Earth, and surrounding it there's a black banner. And inside that, are works universal and pictures in white text. And everything's on the white background again. Yeah, that's pretty much it. 1947 to 1963, they changed the Universal International. So we have Earth, and on it, there are the words. So there's Earth, we have a black bar, Earth, and on it, there are the words Universal International, and white text, on a black outline. And everything else is on the white background again. So, yeah, now you know. Here's our version. 1963, they changed the name back again to Universal Pictures. So, same as previous logos, the word International was replaced with the word Pictures, and it is smaller. Uh, while the word Universal is bigger. And there's also a Richard trademark sign. Now at the bottom of the logo, so yeah, that's all I got to say over here. 1963 to 1990, we have a we have we have a black globe under it. There's a black shape right beside the R U. So yeah, that's all I got to say about here. Here's our alternative version. Yeah, no alternative version. Uh, 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 another version that says Universal MC Company. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, another version that says when in Southern California, visit Universal Studios tour. <sighs> With NMC code company under it, so yeah, that's pretty much it. We have an unused part time logo. Yep, another unused logo. So yeah, yeah, this logo never made it, never made it to the screen, so yeah, yeah, now you know. And we have a stacked version with the universal war mark, so yeah, that's all I gotta say about here. 1990 to 1997, we have a black earth on, we have a black globe with some consonants on it. In the middle of it, there's where universal and black text. Under the globe, the other words, NMCA company and black text. And that's pretty much it. Nothing goes more about here. 1997 to 2012, we have a black earth in the middle of it, that's where universal and black text. And that's all I got to say about here. Here's the color version and a variant that says a universal release. And also a variant. And also, also the version with the NPC universal by line. So that's pretty much it. And finally, just 12 to the present same as previous logo, except the font of the world universe has changed and the uh, editor is now in an editor perspective. So yeah, that's all I got to say. Here's the version. Uh, here's the version with the Comcast by line. Another one. Yeah, another one. We have the universal film entertainment version. That's all I got to say. We have the blue version. A variant that says a universal release. Yet another variant that also says a universal release. We have the color version, the second color version, the third color version, the fourth color version, and the fifth color version. Hey guys, this is Elf Lover. Thank you for watching our episode of Logo History. <sighs> Man, that was a lot of fun. Please don't forget to leave a like on the video, share with your friends. Leave a comment below, please. Please subscribe and notification to not miss another new video from me as we are on the road to 700 subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you all for watching. You are the, you are the best. I love you all so much for watching. I'm your guys, you're yourself, and I will see you tomorrow on Logo History. Well, we did one legendary movie studio. Well, how about do another? Well, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do next time. Episode two hundred ninety-eight will be about Paramount Pictures, another oldest living film studio that also has over one hundred years of experience. So, so yeah, do not miss it. We will see you on that episode. But stay tuned for Moshi Sleeps Regressions and Moshi Monsters by Feeling later on today. Have a great day, guys. Let me go. Such a sign off. Thanks for watching. Like, fair, subscribe. We'll see you guys in another video. Later's.